AJ, first and foremost, a big congratulations on being named as Aldershot Town captain for this season. How's it feel to have that honour? Yeah, no, thank you and thanks for having me. Um, no, it's a massive honour to be captain, be named captain of this football club. Um, massive sense of pride when the gaffer uh, pulled me into his office and delivered the news. So, yeah, obviously thank all of the staff for their, their confidence in me as a, a player and as a leader. So, yeah, I'm just buzzing, obviously, to get, to get back out on the pitch now with the group and hopefully have a good season ahead. The armband isn't completely new to you, is it? Obviously, you were vice-captain last season. And Stu had a bit of injury troubles towards the beginning of the season, so you, so you took on that armband. So what's, what's it mean to you to, to lead the boys out on, on a match day? Yeah, obviously, like, I was vice-captain last year, and unfortunately, Stu, I think we was here at the EBB, and he got injured, so I think I had the armband for like 24, 25 league games. And yeah, it, it wasn't something I was expecting so soon, obviously, having only signed for the club in the summer. Um, but obviously I've worked with the manager before, I guess he probably knew my character and uh, maybe saw some leadership skills in me previously. So yeah, it was a, a role that I honestly grew into and um, really enjoyed kind of having that responsibility last year. Obviously we were a young group last year as well, so I kind of felt like with my experience um, and the amount, amount of games that I played in and around this level, um, that I could hopefully guide a few of the younger players in the right direction with certain things that they were uh, curious about or perhaps didn't know so yeah it was a role that I really enjoyed and I'm absolutely delighted that the gaffer and his staff have um, had the faith in me to, to give it me on a full-time basis this year. Is it a role you've had previously in your career? Um, not as a permanent club captain this is my first time uh, this year as permanent club captain but I've, I've had games and spells at previous clubs where um, the skip has not been available for whatever reason and I've had to, to step up so yeah it's one I feel comfortable in and um, rich, a challenge I'm really looking forward to actually. And delving into the role a bit deeper, obviously your first role is to, to, to lead the te team out at the, on a match day, but yeah. is there any more responsibilities that come with it? Obviously behind the scenes, leading the lads, maybe setting the fines, things like that. <laughs> yeah, um, like organising social stuff for the team to do. Obviously we train together every day, but I think it's important that socially we do things outside of the club. So. Um, arranged a, a little drink for the boys at the end of pre-season. Um, also fines like you touched on, yeah, so um, I'm in charge of the fines at the club. So like anything, you know, people being late for training, um, forgetting gear that's left on the training pitch like boots or shin pads or anything left on the training ground. Um, we've got some some like fun ones in there as well. Like last season we had like two pounds for every haircut. Um, so people come in and they're trying to get their barber to not make it so obvious that they've had a haircut and things like that. But yeah, and I think just generally trying to like maintain higher standards in training. So I'm a big believer in like you play how you train. So you know, obviously I haven't been fit for a while now and it's been hard for me not being in training to obviously try and drive standards. But now I'm back in training, you know, you best believe I'm going to be on people and making sure that you know we're doing the right things in training which are preparing us for games and, and moving forward, yeah. Now, it is a young dressing room, but there's also a fair bit of experience in terms of senior games with those players. So do you take on a role of a leader to them or, or you know, does some of them just get on with it and it's easy to do? Or, or do, you, do you have to lend a helping hand sometimes? No, I think when you look at, like you, you hit the nail on the head, when you look in the dressing room, although, you know, age-wise uh, you would say we're inexperienced like there's boys that have played a lot of football at a young age in there like you've got people like Cameron Hargreaves playing League Two, Josh Barrett's playing the championship, Theo's played a good level, lots of games, Mags the same, obviously you've got James Henry now coming in. Like, there's a lot of um, lads that have played um, a lot of games even though their, their age doesn't necessarily reflect that so I think most of the boys kind of will look after themselves um, yeah it's just I, I guess now it's going to be my job and Again, it's kind of learning on the job as well. Like I'm, I'm new to the role too, so I'll be kind of finding my feet as I go. But I think I have the, the qualities and, and the skills within my game to, to, to do a really good job. So. Thank and you, you seem to have built a good rapport with the fans as well. Do you think so? that's something that added to the decision in making you captain? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, during the time I was fit last year, the fans were brilliant with me. To be honest, the whole club's been brilliant with me from the chairman all the way through the staff and the fans. So. A massive thank you to everyone for making me feel so welcome but yeah I think what I've learned from from being at this club for just over a year now is that these people are passionate people you know they're, they're from the town of Aldershot the gaffer always says to us you know the British Army marched the war from here so I think you can tell when we're here in the EBB and the stadiums like you can tell the passion of the fans and 
I think probably they can see a little bit of that in me as well, the way I play. I always play with my heart on my sleeve and um, I love a, love a tackle, like love to win duels against opposition. Um, so yeah, no, they've been great with me and obviously I want to repay the faith now that they've had in me and, and the staff have had in me whilst I've been injured and make sure you know, I've been doing my work to make sure I come back and I'm in a good condition to really try to positively contribute to the group when I, when I come back in. Well, looking at that, we're all desperate to see you back out here soon. What, what kind of time frame are we looking at? Are you close to your return? Yeah, I'm really close now. Um, I think it was six months last Friday since my op. So I kind of hit that six month phase and that was when um, my surgeon was like, you know, you can really start cracking on after that. So I've been back uh, doing some bits with the group and hopefully full training um, as of next week. So yeah, I feel physically like really fit. All I've been able to do is is run in training, to be honest, the last, the pre-season, like the whole pre-season, you know, it's been hard because I've just been doing laps and different running exercises while I have to run around the pitch that the team are training on. So that's been challenging mentally, um, trying to motivate, motivate yourself every morning to go in and knowing you're just going to get kind of blasted really. <laughs> um, but no, I feel, you know, this is probably like CV wise, the fittest I've felt, I'd argue maybe in my career. So I've, I've definitely put in the hard yards and hopefully that now translates, you know, with the ball sharpness and getting back on the training pitch with the boys, you know, your 1v1s and being comfortable back again on the ball, like all that's going to come, but I'm hoping it's going to be pretty quick. Um, I can get up to speed. Is it tough being one of the, you know, leadership group in the team to, to have to sit back and, and watch things go ahead, especially where you where you get injured at, towards the business end of the season and you, you have to sit and watch kind of your fate be played out in front of yeah. you? No, that was tough for me last year. Um, I like to think of someone, I think I'm someone who's quite mentally resilient. I have been throughout my whole career um, with any setbacks that I've had, but I, I have found this injury tough. It's been really tough mentally, especially like you said, I missed, you know, the two Woking games, which I was looking massively forward to, like playing a derby here at EVB in front of the fans. Um, obviously, I played the Swindon game, but then I missed both Stockport games. Um, managed to come on for like 10, 15 minutes against West Brom, which was great. But then obviously the running um, that we had, you know, we were in a great position last year and then unfortunately didn't have quite enough to get over the line. But it's hard watching from the stands thinking, you know, you see things, everyone's like a, the best, you know, coach and manager when they're in the stands, you can see things clearly and you think, you know, perhaps I could have been able to do this to help the group perhaps get over the line or whatever. But it's all in the past and, you know, everything happens for a reason. And now, you know, I'm raring to go, like chomping at the bit just to get back out on the pitch now, looking at the pitch here at the EVV and just thinking, can't wait to get my first minutes again here. And we're looking ahead to this season. What, what are your aspirations as, as the club captain now? You've got a bit of a say in that, haven't you? Everyone wants yeah, to know your so. opinion. So what are um, your thoughts? I think that for me, it's trying to improve on, on last season. Um, obviously, with the gaffer coming in last year, I guess the fans' expectations they perhaps didn't know what to expect, but I think you know we've set the bar quite high based off performances and excitement, and we had a good FA Cup run, went quite strong in the league, and I think we're playing a different you know brand of football now, which is attractive, and is open and exciting for the fans to watch. So I think for me it's just improving on last season, um, and you can read into that however you want. Um, you know if you look at the league table, if we'd have improved by I think one place, we'd have made the playoffs. So. Um, yeah, I think that's got to be the aim for the club and I think I don't see any reason with what I've seen in the group in training and in the first game here against Forest Green that suggests why we can't do that. I think, uh, like I said before, as long as we're training how we want to perform on a, on a Saturday and we're, we're taking care of the little details and I think we're, we're in for another good season. Well, have you been impressed then so far? You've, you would have watched, obviously, on Saturday, a very entertaining game for the neutral yeah. and, and a good one for us in terms of getting a point against a team that's going to be tipped yeah. to be up there at, at the end of the season. So, and, and what's it like in the dressing room as well? We've, there's been a few new players this summer. I know you personally would have seen a lot of them and, and some, they've, they've all crossed paths with one another, it seems, at some point. But what's, yeah. what's the dressing room like? No, I've, I've been really impressed with the group in pre-season. Honestly, it's um, been a bit of a different experience for me obviously watching all the games from the stand but I haven't missed a game yet and I think the performances have just kind of gone like that um, maybe minus the, the Crawley game on that on that Tuesday night um, you look at some of the opposition we played we played against Birmingham and won played against Bristol City and gave a great account of ourselves uh, Bromley and, and won here 
So I think the level of opposition has been high and, you know, all credit to the staff for managing to arrange those kind of tests for us. Because then going in against teams in our league, you think, well, if we can compete with teams who are playing above us, then, you know, it will give you confidence to go into our National League fixtures and think, you know, we have enough in the group to, to perform well. And going back to your question about the group in general, I think, yeah, a lot, a lot of them would have played against each other and um, kind of known of each other before but it's it's different when you're actually teammates and I think as new players come in they're trying to figure out where they fit in within the group but to be honest the the, the group's gelled really well um, like I said we are we are young but uh, there's some real mature lads in the dressing room and the thing that I love is that they like you know everybody's doing things the right way coming in and taking care of you know activation and making sure you know we're warming up properly we're training properly nutrition gym all that kind of stuff it seems like we've got a group that's really bought into the, the smaller details this year which i think eventually those those smaller details add up to you know your big performance kind of outcomes really